Hello, my name is Victor Ponce, and I was part of the Hispanic Character Camp 10 years ago now. Uh, going into the camp, I really didn't know much about it. Uh, I was going through some tough times, uh, my family and I, and two people that my parents knew came and talked to them, and they told them, your son could really benefit from going to this camp. At the time, my parents uh, weren't too comfortable letting me go on my own because I had never been apart from them for three whole days. But eventually they, they, they gave up and let me go. Going into the camp, I remember walking through two doors and seeing a whole bunch of different kids that looked like me. I had never experienced that before. And throughout the camp, I, I remember going in very nervous, timid, always looking down and really didn't have that self-confidence that I saw other kids have. Um, throughout the camp, I feel like it helped me gain that confidence. You even see in the video me starting to smile a little more, getting more confident. I even uh, took on the task of talking to Mr. Anthony Munoz, who back then I didn't really know much about. Uh, going into college, I, I started researching scholarships because I didn't really know how I was going to be able to afford going to college. Uh, I really took it upon myself to you know, complete this task, knowing that my parents worked so hard to get me where I am. My uh, parents didn't have the luxury of going to college themselves. They didn't even have the luxury of going into high school because they had to work from a very young age. And I ran across the Anthony Munoz Scholarship Foundation uh, and, and I applied. And uh, fortunately, I was able to get that scholarship. In, in college, I, uh, I have been a part of a LAMP, which is Latino Programs and Services here at Northern Kentucky University. And I've had the privilege of being a mentor and a he head peer mentor, where I oversee a community of about 20 students and really help them, uh, you know, uh, better their uh, college experience and making sure that all of their questions are answered, especially the incoming freshmen. It's awesome to share your story. I am a DACA recipient myself, and I found that after, you know, sharing my story through a DACA panel of about 200 people, a lot of them came back up to me and they, and they sh told me that they're DACA recipients, but they were too scared to really come out of their shell. What we saw is uh, people being comfortable and coming to us and, and really telling us their life and what they're afraid of uh, about coming into college. And it's awesome to be able to help them in that way. About four years ago, I had the chance of coming back to the camp but now with a different experience. I came back as a chaperone, or some kids like to call me a coach. Uh, going back into it, I, I got all the memories back. I, I saw myself in a whole bunch of different other children. I saw them coming in scared. At one point, one kid came up to me, and he started crying, and I was like, what's wrong? He's like, I miss my mom. And I told him, uh, promise me, if you, I promise you that if you stay, you'll end up not wanting to leave. And three days later, once the camp was over, he came back up to me and he's like, Coach Victor, you are right. I don't want to leave anymore. So I think it's very important uh, to, you know, tell the, your, uh, these children your experience because a lot of them need some sort of, sort of guidance. Going into the camp, I, I really didn't know much about it. I didn't know what the Anthony Munoz Foundation was, who Mr. Anthony Munoz was, uh, but I really challenged myself and took that leap of faith and tried something new. I gained so much from the Anthony Munoz Foundation. Uh, it helped me become a better person. And I want to challenge every single one of you to try something new, to really uh, share your story with other people because you never really know uh, what people may be going through and how you could impact them in the future. So I am so grateful for the Anthony Munoz Foundation and for giving me all these opportunities. Thank you.